Hey, what is up, guys? This is Corp Santa for sub uh, so, uh, Supply Specialist Action here in this game. Just formating the fangs. Drop these guys here. These guys back in reserve a little bit. Guess we just do something a bit like this, man. With a five fang opener, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, he just went all arc lights. Okay. Rough game, rough start. Let's see if we can come back from this horrendous opener. Dude, what would he have done if I went a couple of marksmen here, dude? I feel like we just win the game instantly if I go a couple of marksmen, which was like the obvious choice to do. I thought I was throwing a curve ball. Well, yeah, it turns out we just we're just throwing a get wrecked sun ball at ourself. Yeah, that metaphor doesn't work at all, but shush. Okay, horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. Let's see what we can do about this, man. Laser sights could be pretty damn good for swapping into some marksmen. Um, I actually wanted to pivot into wasps this round, but now that he has so many arc lights, he can just click the anti-air button and the wasps become an instant waste of cash. Um, so that just feels like a horrific idea. Um, and it feels like we probably need to just build into uh, phoenixes of our own at this point. Phoenixes of our own, we're going to need supply in order to do that. None of these are free. We have to skip. It's a bold decision, I know. But I think that we actually have to do this. I don't think we have that much of a say. Um, I think that we drop these guys here. A little bit spread out, a little bit spread out. Maybe a little bit further back. Like they'll catch up just fine, so they don't need to be super far forwards. Um, missile here. Let's kill one of his guys. Yeah, it's just a billion arc lights. Okay, so we need to counter the arc light spam strategy, and the way that you do that is just a hell of a lot of phoenixes and sledgehammers to keep the phoenixes safe on the ground. Um, that's really the only way that we can conceivably do this. Will this rhino get clipped by this missile, or will it be too late? I think it'll be too late. Yeah, he'll be he'll be too far away, right? Damn. 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 Okay, just one phoenix needs to live. To kill off these guys. Things going a little bit spicier over here. That's good. Okay. The Phoenix is already honestly having a pretty big impact in that we're going to lose at least a bit less health this round. <laughs> Take out the Arc Lights. The Rhino's also ready to go down. What upgrades does he have available on his Phoenixes? So he actually goes for Launcher Overload, which means that we can win the ranged battle. Uh, just because he's not skilled into elite marksman. So we can take care of that. Yeah, these acolytes. Oh my god. It's a lot of acolytes. Storm Callers could help us out quite a bit as well. Primarily because he doesn't have an answer to those. Uh, honestly, all of these are just not useful to us. They're just not that good, man. What speed specialist actually going to achieve? I guess we could just go speed specialist to counter his storm callers. Maybe it helps us out like a tiny amount. Um, I guess I guess we just pick it up. Uh, so I'm gonna grab storm callers here and just kind of keep them ready, waiting in the wings. But I'm just gonna drop more, uh, yet more phoenixes here as well. Keep these guys a bit further back. Sledges reinforce on this side. I think that this is grand. Um, could barriers help us out here? Is also the question now. No, I think we're just going to run out of range of the barriers if we're not careful. So you're running here, you're running here. We can maybe catch him with a missile here. On this side. I'm more than happy actually just spend the crap out of missiles, I think. To try to hold on during this early game. Let's see what we can do with these rockets here, dude. Hopefully they don't both fly at the same guy. That would just be completely tragic. Oh my god, they're both going to fly at the same guy. Dude, that is the most tragic shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, dude. I mean, whatever. It's killing one guy. Ugh. Could have killed four if I got the hits that I was planning for. Yeah. Okay, I think that we already win this round, though, right? Because this dies here next. One phoenix is going to kill this. I would have hoped that more than would do that, so we'd kill it right away. But still all going to work out. And our phoenix is going to snipe the hell out of his acolytes. Dude, this is, it's like this guy is a paired actor. Showing how to counter the 
Acolyte uh, spam strategy. Where you just hyper, hyper, hyper invest in the Arkeys. Um, they can still be scary. Game is by no means over. But what we're doing by planting the sledgehammers again is all we're doing is preparing for his Mustang response. Um, and to be honest, it might be good to just grab range right now on the Phoenixes. I think that we actually do that. We're going to upgrade these sledges as well. Um, I think that might be it. That might be all. Do we grab more sledges for this side as well? Or more phoenixes for this side? I think I grab more phoenixes for this side, actually. Because these guys, again, have more cover uh, with the sledgehammers. Okay, this could be a hit, a fine hit. Okay, yeah, he's going for the plus range. See, this is the palm. If you spam so many acolytes like this, it's not going to work for him, though. I don't think this is going to work for him, man. I think we've counted this early enough. Such that we went into Phoenixes immediately as soon as we saw that he dropped a whole bunch of Acolytes and started with an Acolyte Rush. Um, I think he's over committing to this build right now. But he's kind of all in, right? He's bought so many Acolytes at this point that he really doesn't have much of a choice but to do this. Missile, he is going to connect lovelily for the first time in the game and take out two Acolytes right away, which is very, very good. Um... So I think we're probably just going to need to double up, triple up, quadruple up on the sledgehammers at this point. The fangs are dying very, very quickly to the Acolyte spam. We could also pick up Stormcallers at this point too. I think that'd be great. Because what's he going to do, right? It's like, dude, it's one of these things where we buy Stormcallers right now. A couple of units here and here or something. And we're just spraying down all this ground units. What's he going to do? Buy Mustangs to protect them? Like, we already have the Sledgehammers ready, you know? Sledgehammers are so good because they just provide you with that ground stability uh, for the longer ranged units to kind of do their job. Uh, I guess Smoke Bomb is fine. I feel like I kind of don't need these, though. Increased health on units is pretty good, too, man. We'll go with Idris Elba. Uh, so I think that I'm going to grab the Stonecallers now. I think that I actually Elite Recruit. So that they can keep up with the scaling on this guy. I gotta make sure that I don't put them in such a position that they're getting pushed by the sledgehammers though. Because if you push your stone callers in front of sledgehammers, the sledgehammers do have more mass and they will push them forwards. Um, and it's just it's just very, very sad. So let's not get that done to us. Okay, he's going for the increased damage now. Which is spooky. It means that the sledgehammers are really, really going to struggle here. Oh my god, some of the idiots went into the smoke. Okay. So the sledgehammers now are just going to start to get a little bit mulched. A little bit wrecked. Which is why going into the storm callers now, I guess, was a good call. The sledgehammers can answer and tank the acolytes right now just a little bit. But yeah, the Acolytes will always and very, very quickly outscale the Sledgehammer, so it's never going to be like a permanent solution for us. Increased range could be pretty good. No, it couldn't. Yeah, it could. No, it couldn't. Is it? Is it not? I think it's fine to go, actually. We'll pick it up. Okay, so I want to probably triple buy this round. Um... It's going to be two more slots of Stormcallers and one more Phoenix, I think. Or maybe even just one more unit of Sledges. Just with the plus range over here. I think that's probably better. I don't want to overcommit to the Phoenixes just yet. You can go all in with the Phoenixes just yet. Uh, one unit of these guys, like, maybe just a bit further back. I don't want them to get wrecked by the smoke this turn, but we might not have much of a choice. I think that that's okay, you know. We also have the barrier here just waiting for us, but we're just not ready for it yet. Okay, yeah, his fire is going to come down. He's going to wreck us this round. He's going to annihilate us this round. So with the fangs, that means that we need... Oh, sorry, with the uh, wasps, means that we are going to need some stangs of our own. One unit here, one unit here with anti-air. Should pretty much be enough. Pretty much. Um, does he have Electromag on these guys? He does not. Does he on these guys? He does not. 
Okay, so he has no electromagnetic options uh, on his team at present. Which is actually really, really good for us to know. Because that means... One moment, let's just actually see how this pans out. How is our front line even holding up here? Yeah, we're just going to kind of get wrecked, right? Yeah, we're just going to kind of get wrecked. It means that we can go into uh, Quantum Assembly here. And he actually has no answer to our Phoenix Rebirth. Which is pretty damn good to know too. Okay, we're just going to get smashed. That was a huge fork, uh, wasp pivot, to be fair. I nearly called them foxes. What the hell is wrong with me today, dude? I need to get back into the floor. Okay. Yeah, so range is even more important now on our phoenixes. Um, he might use a strike specialist here to kind of sideswipe us a little bit. So we do have to be aware of that. Uh, Vulcans, not useful. Missile strike, I guess we'll just take it. And just plonk it right here, see if we can take out some of his wasps. Um, so yeah, getting Elite Maxman is going to be very, very important on these guys. We need an answer to the wasps right now though. And what better than these stings? I think that we're just going to give them plus range and maybe aerial specialization in one fell swoop. If we can afford to do that. Which can't quite, but that's okay. Okay. So we'll set these guys back like all the way back here. And all the way back here. They just have to live. That is like their only job. Um, and we upgrade phoenixes. That That's that's it. That's a good one, maybe. I mean, we definitely upgrade at least one of them. We want the elite maxman to be able to count for a lot. So I guess we do a little bit of that. These fangs are just kind of getting wrecked. And I feel like there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, how much would range on the storm callers be worth? I think that would be worth quite a bit. I think that we just grabbed that right now, man. Okay, this missile is going to take out one unit of these guys. That's fine. I'm really curious just to see how the Mustangs do here. We might need to get them range enhancement as well. We need to keep them as far back as possible. Um, I think it's actually a bad idea to get the plus range on the Sledgehammers, to be honest. And the reason for that is we need to make sure they stay far in front of the Mustangs so that the Mustangs can do their job against the uh, Wasp Bam. So the further ahead the sledgehammers get, uh, the better off we're going to be. Otherwise, the Arclights are going to annihilate the Mustangs. They're stopping at a decent distance here. This is about perfect, actually. So let's start, see how we do here, man. We are buzzing down the wasps very, 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 very quickly, which is awesome. The Phoenix is actually going to get to connect you in his backline on this side, so that's sweet. Big, big victory over here. Nice. Go, 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 little phoenix. Very good. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Huge round win. Huge. All right, man. So I think that next round now, it's probably going to be time to pick up Quantum Assembly. Um, and really finalize this. Really seal this one out. Um, so a heavy arc light, he might actually go for this. That would be really quite spooky. We might even have to go for Elite Maxman to deal with this. Instead of the Rebirth. Hmm. Oh my goodness. That is actually very, very, very scary for us. Oh yo 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 yo. Um yeah, I'm gonna pick up uh amplifying car here and just drop it on these stangs. I think I need to do this. Upgrade range. These stangs have to live. There's really no two ways about it. We don't really have much of a choice. Let's try and seal the game out in this round, shall we? Um Yeah, I think that Elite Maxman is probably gonna be our better option here. Maximum, maximum range is probably going to be better than Quantum, right? So I think that we do a little bit of that. I think that we even straight up invest in the enhanced range uh, perk for this 110. Ranks on the Phoenixes is going to be super, super important. We are going to need to block his smoke bomb a little bit here. Where's he going to put it, man? Who am I fooling? We should borrow money here and really protect against that uh, smoke grenade, right? This goddamn smoke stream. It's funny, I'm not even, not even using this goddamn barrier, man. Okay, he's going for the overlords. It's fine. We're ready for those. So we have crazy range now in our phoenixes. Just the most insane range. 
Missiles come out. The Stangs now stop at a very, very safe distance and will make pretty damn short work of the uh, Wasp Swarm. So that's grand. There's a random Rhino coming in. I guess this is Battlefield Effect coming back. Oh my god, get it dead. Very good. Okay, now our Phoenixes are at a super safe range. They gotta pep everything down before he really starts to connect here, though. Ooh, we actually lost our Phoenixes over here on this side. To be fair, we only had one unit of them, I think. Our building goes down first. Okay. We do have incredible range now, though. I think that we have this. Mothership is gonna go off again. That's it. Sweet. Cool. All right, man. And that's how you deal with an arc light spam, especially one that comes so, so early on like that. If your opponent ever starts off with five arc lights, you gotta just go into the Phoenixes. Ideally, you already have sledgehammers on the board. Um, if you don't, and he's going with arc lights early on, and you don't have sledgehammers already on the board, then it's usually better to get the sledgehammers established first, right? Because if you slam sledgehammers later on, and his acolytes already have levels, don't expect them to hold the front line for any more than a few seconds, right? Because they're just going to get out-leveled, and they're going to get smashed too early on. Don't rely on them too much as the game goes on as well. You're going to have to transition into other ways to deal with the acolytes, because as they start to stack up damage, the sledges are going to do less and less on that front. You're very much on a timer against acolytes. you got to win quickly, um, because they will always outscale whatever it is you're doing almost all the time barring maybe scaling like Maxman or Phoenixes or something on your side just to ridiculous proportions but anyways thanks for watching guys hope you all did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and I shall catch all of you guys just a tad bit later